Video footage has emerged of an attack on prison officers at Northland Jail that led to a mass strip search in 2016. RNZ has been given permission by the High Court in Auckland to show the CCTV video of the attack at Paremoremo. The strip search of 209 prisoners over two days was at the centre of a court case last month where two of the country's most notorious inmates, Arthur Taylor and Philip John Smith, argued it was unlawful. Laura Tupo reports. On October 19, 2016, two corrections officers are filmed taking a mop and bucket to the grate of a section of C Block, a maximum security area at Paremoremo. When the grate is opened, four prisoners jump out with homemade weapons. The vice president of the Corrections Association, Paul Dennehy, describes what happens next. These prisoners had all strapped the weapons to their hands, their fists. So initially the staff thought that they were just being punched. In fact, they were being stabbed. And because the weapons were strapped to the prisoners' hands, it wasn't very easy for the staff to disarm them. Within a minute, several prison officers arrive to help. One stumbles to the floor with stab wounds to the head. Within two minutes of the attack, two of the four inmates are separated, controlled and surrounded by officers. Over the next two days, the East Division goes into lockdown and 209 prisoners are strip-searched. Corrections told the court it was a premeditated gang-related attack by prisoners drunk on homebrew. It argued the strip-search was justified because the gang had contacts across the prison and other inmates may also have had weapons or shanks made from prison-issued televisions. Paul Dennehy from the Corrections Association says staff backed corrections order for cell and strip-searches even though records of what was found were patchy. The improvised weapons that prisoners use and used don't necessarily have to include any element of metal at all. They can be sharpened plastic. In this event they were, they were made using parts of the TV brackets that have been supplied. So there are times when we won't discover a weapon by using a metal detector or a scanner and it will only be through searching, strip searching, cell searching, that we will uncover the weapons to hand. But Arthur Taylor and Philip John Smith told the court there was no reason to strip search everyone. They said there was no proof either of them were concealing contraband, and therefore legally there were no grounds for them to be strip searched. Justice Peters has reserved her judgment in the case. The Corrections Minister Calvin Davis won't comment on the case, but in a statement says he expects the department to manage risk but also respect prisoners' dignity. Meanwhile, RNZ understands not all the officers involved in the 2016 attack are back at work. Paul Dennehy says it's difficult for people to understand what prison staff go through every day and he worries about the possibility of the judge finding in favour of the prisoners. The strip searching and the cell searching were a vital part of making sure that everyone's safety was completely ensured. If the, the ruling goes against the department, that will just lead to a, a more dangerous environment because prisoners will feel able to carry weapons more frequently and that will just heighten the risk to prisoners and staff. Meanwhile, the Corrections Amendment Bill, which is at select committee stage, will allow for the use of imaging technology like body scanners to be used in prisons to reduce reliance on rub-down or strip searches. In its first reading in Parliament, Labor's Stuart Nash said the new technology will be effective and afford more dignity to prisoners. This change will help keep prisoners free from drugs and weapons, making them safer places for staff, visitors and prisoners and at the same time will make them more humane places. Motihotaka o te ahi ahi nei, ko Laura Tupou aho.